Now to these millions who are on the move tonight, the start of a long holiday weekend. Travelers taking to the skies and the roads for Easter and Passover, despite those rising airfares and now renewed concern about the virus. 31 states and territories now seeing an increase in new cases of 10 percent or more. Here's ABC's transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez. Tonight, one of spring's busiest travel weekends now underway. Today and Monday are expected to be the busiest travel days nationwide, united alone with more than 400,000 passengers a day, Delta with nearly half a million. I think will be one of the busiest Passover Easter weekends we have seen in recent history, perhaps the past three, four, even five years. Airfare also up by 40% for domestic flights just since January. This comes after several weekends of mass cancellations blamed on weather and pilot shortages. In fact, the Southwest Airlines Pilots Union writing to the CEO saying pilots are so exhausted, it's the company's number one safety threat. In a statement, Southwest saying weather and airspace delays led to fatigue in March and that calls from pilots too tired to fly are a result of the system working as designed. This is the industry uh, certainly paying a price for perhaps underestimating how quickly travel would rebound after COVID. And now with the BA2 subvariant fueling a fresh COVID wave, federal officials this week extending the transportation mask mandate until at least May 3rd. New cases and hospital admissions now up 10% or more in many parts of the country. Once something becomes dominant, usually about a week or 10 days later, uh, you start getting a pretty good sense of what's happening with hospitalization. Certainly by two weeks, I think we'll have a much clearer picture. And Cecilia, keep in mind, on average, more than 2 million people are already screened at U.S. airports every day. This weekend could really break pandemic records. Cecilia. I'll be watching those numbers. Okay, Gio, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.